Hello, and welcome to Endless Sky, the uh, one of two escape velocity spiritual successors that I know about, and the one that I like more. The other one's also nice, but we're not playing that, obviously. So I will be playing this because I want to, and I can. The format of the playthrough will be as thus. Uh, I will be playing through the game and then making complaints about it whenever is unnecessary. As is my right, I guess. Uh, so I have played this before, just to, I don't know, be clear about things. Alright, so first thing we gotta do is we need to take out a loan, and we need to, uh, maybe conduct a bit of, I don't know, fraudulence, because I get to actually sign my name here. Uh, what shall we call ourselves? What shall I call me? Because let's face it, I'm the only one here. Mm, I don't know why, but I think we're a Terry. But what's our last name? <laughs> of no relation. Okay, so we can now buy our ship with the loan that we took. Shouldn't they be loaning us a ship rather than money? I don't know. I feel like a futuristic bank, like a futuristic bank would be uh, going hand in hand with a ship dealer, but whatever. So we have three choices. The all-rounder shuttle, a carryover from, maybe not necessarily a carryover, but uh, escape velocity, uh, escape velocity homeboy here. Uh, the star barge, which is a low class transport and it's kind of the ship that you want because of its uh, cargo hold and then the moving coffin sparrow because it doesn't really do anything well because because largely of this game's design that uh, something like a sparrow doesn't do anything useful so I will be taking the shuttle because I like shuttles I need a random name of no relation. Cool. Alright, I've given them my money and I am polishing up this very likely fourth or fifth hand shuttle. They should have given me a discount, don't you think? No, well, let's be honest, that was a fairly large chunk of, chunk of money for what is essentially my first purchase. So yeah, I am in a bit of a shock over how much money I spent. It's a crime how much interest. Uh, he sold off his fleet, why would you ever do that? I'm going to retire. Hitch a ride with you. Why did you sell off your fleet and he why did you sell off your fleet here then? Uh, Alright, sure. Where are you trying to get to? Retirement home. To New Greenland, okay. Alright, let's go. His name is James. I'm Terry Carling. <laughs> I am the bastard child of the Carling dynasty. Okay. So this is the map. As you can see, there's a bunch of systems. These little circles. Oh, shoot. I need a mouse cursor for this. Uh, these little circles are uh, systems. The fact, that they're, the fact that they're grayed out means we don't know them, obviously. Uh, blue dots indicate mission targets, active mission targets, yellow dot indicates possible mission targets that you can take, and dimmed dots represent uh, mission targets that you cannot take because of whatever reason. So we need to go here. As you can see, we know nothing about this area, which is okay. Let me um, 
hold up on medicine, because why not? And we shall depart, and the audio is way too low. Or is it just for me? Probably just for me. Cool. Alright. So, Wasset keys help me move the thing. Well, it's not like there's much audio to hear anyway, so it's fine. And then J allows me to jump. This game works uh, on sort of semi-Newtonian physics, where you have a maximum speed, but you have a uh, inertia-based flight. So, something to worry about. And a new Greenland. Congrats on your first trip through hyperspace. I'm impressed that you didn't throw up. Most folks do the first time. Given that a day has passed, how much were you watching me? Alright, that's 10k. And let's sell off the medicine for 94, 91 credits per ton. Don't know how much that is. And let's help pay off some of our interest. Nah. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's actually pay off some of our interest. So, I suppose this, uh, the banks in this endless sky are pretty nice because they don't do that thing where you only pay off your uh, interest and none of your principal. So that's nice. Alright, so he did say we had to meet him at the spaceport, so let's do that. Conversely, to keep warm. It's it's so nice that the entire planet is... Uh, that the entire planet is basically one, one biome. Okay, so James has an entire family with him. Young couple, elderly woman, and four four children. Uh, yeah. You're absolutely sure that your shuttle was not designed to fit nine people. Five available bunks. Sure. I'm curious as to what it would, uh... <laughs> unemployed youth. <laughs> this is version 9.10, the, uh, the beta, the beta branch. It has some differences compared to the um, uh, 9.8 stable branch, or 9.9. .9. I think it was 9.9. .9. Anyways, I uh, so what I was gonna say is I wonder how different the dialogue would have been if you were t told him to squeeze into the um, trying to decide where I want to go. Told him to squeeze into the 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 narrow halls of the of the tin can. Or not really the tin can, the uh, what did I call it? The coffin. The flying coffin, yes. Alright, so we need to find a way up there. Fortunately, I know this game pretty well. Hopefully. Alright, nice. Didn't, did not embarrass myself. So the bar over here the one with the segments is your fuel. Uh, each segment is a unit of a hundred, which is one jump. For now, anyways. The middle bar is your energy, that determines your weapons. And then the last bar is your heat, which, uh, as far as I can tell, if it goes too high, your ship overheats. And also, your heat, the heat value of your ship also determines uh, missile tracking. How well how well heat heat tracking missiles track against you, which is not that big of a deal, all things considered. The biggest worry is just overheating, really. Yeah, the Hendersons are moving to New China because they hope the urban setting will be better for kids than New Greenland. Fair, right? You kind of need people to grow up around. Uh, all right. Go sunbathing. Well. I don't know. So this is the outfitter. I just kind of clicked into this because uh, I can. I will be going over it, going over it more in depth later. But for now, I just want to buy the local map, which fills out the maps a little bit, which helps. And uh, let's go to the spaceport again. The spaceport is essentially the like advanced quest got uh, the advanced quest button. Whenever you have a quest, it's also the quest giver button, kind of. James New, New China, he's already got a group of small people. Sure. 
Chuck, Sarah, and her son Carl. Hey! Okay, so now we gotta go to Earth, and because we bought the map, we can now see the prices for Earth, which includes equipment at a not great, but respectable. Ooh, what was that? A respectable plus 81 credits for per ton. Huh. Don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's my phone going off. Ah, give me a second. Okay. Uh, anyways, where was I? How does phones in hyperspace work, I wonder? Let's see. As I make the descendant on Earth, Chuck and Sarah cares. Their son, of course, does not, because apparently he's so used to space flight that uh, he doesn't care. Then again, 99% of the time, it's probably just, like, <laughs> the black inky vastness of space, so there's really not much to look at. Alright, so I need to look out for pickpockets. Do, 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 do. Not entirely sure, and the profit has par profit margin has decreased since the prices fluctuate. Not entirely sure. I like the uh, buy more maps. I like the suggestion that that somehow teenagers are just mindless in some way, but whatever. <laughs> Very tight fitting pants. Uh, this tour guide thing is new to 9.10. Dress like 21st century pants. Um, let's see. Spaceport on Earth is very huge because I guess it's uh, it's the O'Hare terminal, just bigger. A lot of Navy people, James. All right. Let's go to Hestia, Natalita system, which is up here. So that's one, two, three, probably four jumps, so we can make it. Let's take some plastic with us. Given how the world works, given how like cultural osmosis works, is it possible that Hestia has a has like an unnecessarily large uh, tourist industry revolved around people dressing up in twin tails and white dresses. Probably, right? There, there has to be at least some people trying to make a business out of something like that. Then again, it is a thousand years later. Okay. We are now on Hestia. Couldn't you have worn a t-shirt for your Entire flight, grease stained coveralls. Have you been doing maintenance on my ship? A left long textile worker. So I know my textiles apparently. Yeah, like a millionaire. Yep. So that is the end of the tutorial quest, which is nice. Um. Sure, I will be taking a little pause here to uh, tweak a few things. And then I will come back and talk more about other things in depth. You know, it just came to me that we've essentially been flying... Up until this moment, we've been, we've been flying solo. Well, in the beginning and this moment. So, strictly speaking, he could have just shanked us in our sleep and then, took it, and then have taken our ship. Nothing we can do about it. Because nobody can hear you scream in hyperspace. Anyways... Yay! Alright, so I will pause here. Hit escape, which takes us back to this window. I will pause here, and then we will come back later, after I've done a little bit of tweaking. So, later.